Hello everyone. This practice exercise is concerned on identifying the unique line segments of the given figure. Before we identify the given line segments of the given figure, let me copy this first and paste it here. And let's label this as practice exercise A. To identify the unique line segments of this given figure, we need to go back to the definition of a line segment. As we all know, line segment or a line segment is a subset of a line which is actually bounded by two different endpoints. And for us to determine here the line segments, let us try to pick two specific endpoints here. Number one, let us try to pick the points L and I. So I'm going to pair this with these two, at these two points, okay? We have here L and then I. But this is not yet the final form or notation to be used for us to describe a line segment. The complete notation for a line segment should have a bar at the top. This is now the correct notation for this line segment. This means that this is a line segment bounded by the points L and then I. Some of you might say, I'm also going to have it, sir, L and then I. Question is, are these two the same or different? Now, if we talk about line segment, again, as defined as a subset of a line that is covered or bounded by two different endpoints, let us try to examine the endpoints that is uh, bounding this line segment. You have the endpoints L and then I. The second one also have endpoints L and I. It's just that they are just interchanged. So by definition, these two are just the same. Consider this. Let's use a localization here. Let's have Maramag and Valencia. Let's have L as Maramag and then I as Valencia. So for line segment LI, this is actually the area bounded by Maramag and Valencia. As for the line segment IL, this is also the area bounded by I, which is Valencia, and then L, which is Maramag. Are the two areas the same or different? The answer is they are just the same. Because if you go from Maramag to, Mus to, to Valencia, rather, you're going to pass the same area. And if you're going to go from Valencia to Maramag, you're also going to cover the same area. This would mean that these two notations are just the same or of the same line segment here, L and I. But since we are tasked to give only the unique line segments, let's only write one of them. Not write both of them because they are just the same, only write one of them. Next, to determine the next line segment, we are going to pick another point, let's say I and then N. So you have here I, sorry, you have I, N, and use the notation here. This is the line segment covered or uh, line segment which is actually bounded by points I and N. Again, no need to write NI because you're only asked about the unique line segments. The next line segment is again bounded by points N and then E. So you have here N, E, and then annotation. These three are the first three lines, unique line segments that you can see in this given figure. Are there any other line segments here? The answer is yes. The next line segment is now bounded by the line segment or endpoint rather L and then N. But how do we write L? How do we give the notation or the name for this line segment? As for the definition, again, the line segment is a subset of a line bounded by two endpoints. So its endpoints are points L and then N. Some of you might write L, I, N and then make it like this. Do not anymore write 
i in between l and n because per definition, line segment is again bounded by two different endpoints. So whatever the points in between those two endpoints, let's say other endpoints are here, here as well, we don't need to write them because by definition, again, only the endpoints are given. Uh, the endpoint should be written. And that is our next line segment. The next line segment is bounded by points I and an E. So you have I, E. And then our last line segment is now the line segment bounded by the farthest endpoints, L and then E and that notation here. So these are only, uh, we only have six unique line segments here. And the names are these line segments. So for us, for some of us who are seeing confused on how do we make our line segments, please use this hint or pattern. What we did here earlier is only focused on the shortest line segments systematically. And then we proceed with the medium length meaning one of the points is part of or in between the other until we reach the longest line segment. That's the systematic pattern of writing line segments. I'm also going to add here another important concern. Let's consider line segment LI and this notation without the bar at the top. This first notation here, similar to what we have placed earlier, is the notation for the figure, the name of the figure, the label of the figure. So if we're talking about line segments, we need to make sure that we could actually place the correct notations. But what is this notation for? This notation here is still on the line segment, but not the figure itself. This is actually the measurement of the line segment Li. This is why for computational purposes, we are going to use this rather than this notation here. Because this notation is what could actually be operated as this is concerned on the measurement or the length or the distance between points L and then I. So if, again, if I talk about unique line segments, you answer with the correct notation. If I talk about measurements, you could settle with this. Now let's talk about all of this understanding and apply it here in a given figure at the bottom. I have here two intersecting lines, line ZX and line YW intersecting at the po common point O. And let us try to determine here the line unique line segments. For some of you who are actually confused with this, you may actually break this into two different parts. This first line segment with points Y, O, and W. And the second line segment, this my, my figure may not be too accurate, Z and then X and then O. We may do that if you're confused with this, but definitely for some of you who could understand this automatically, you may not break it. But since I have broken it already, let's start with identifying the unique line segments using the pattern. Again, the shore test, you have YO or OY and then OW or WO. And then the longest, you have Y, W. As for the second figure, the another part of these intersecting lines, let's have here this. So you have Z, O, and this, O, X, with the connotation, and the longest, Z, X. So we have here the six line segments that we could see here. Are there any other line segments that you can see here? Some of you might say, I see, sir, line segment ZY, because I could actually create here a line 
passing through points z and y and i have that and also i could do it like this we have zw wx yx some of you may say that we, we we have these line segments that is correct if in the given figure we do have these lines however in the first place the concern is line segments of the given figure and in the given there are no lines containing them therefore line segments dot zw and the rest that we could actually see if there are uh, line segments containing them but since there are none will not be any more acceptable so we have only six line segments for this given figure please continue on reviewing this video as we prepare for our assessment soon see you soon goodbye